What would you do if you stepped outside and your neighbor's house was levitating? That's what it might look like from a distance of one house in Windside. Morrow's house moving are lifting and shifting a house to protect it against flooding. We've got to move the house this way, 20 feet, and then put it back, and then move it north. 15 feet. The company run by a couple who've been doing this for decades. We've been working together side by side for 48 years. The two move those houses themselves, especially now with a shortage of employees. There's labor involved in this job and they yeah, don't want to do physical weird. labor. That can be frustrating when a pandemic puts a load of demand on your shoulders. But we've been getting calls all the way from Oklahoma to North Dakota. Some of the buildings the Morrows move put on wheels and moved across cities, such as the museum in Windside. He's got a neighborhood up They're here that we moved in. <laughs> Sioux City Rail Museum also hoping to move a locomotive from Nebraska City to Sioux City. They're hoping to move the industry into a more well-known light so that people know it's an option rather than demolition. And it costs money to have a house torn down. You can't just go throw a match in them mm -mm. Right now. You can't just take them out to the pasture and bury them. No. Right now. He hopes more people learn about their less wasteful and more efficient moving process. Keeping in mind, patience is key. What we push mostly is to make sure everything is done correctly and precisely to keep it safe. So if it takes a little longer, um, then that's fine. This house should be done in a week with a new basement to be installed next. In Windside, Carolyn Conti, News Channel, Nebraska.